Fighting to find a cure, some 5 million people suffer from Alzheimer's, and as time moves on, the number's expected to grow. Here in Midtown, people are trying to do something. As WOWT 6 News' Chase Moffat reports, it only takes one step at a time to make a difference. On a cloudless fall afternoon, hundreds gather in a Midtown park. While their stories are unique and special to all those here, there's a common thread for why they all came today. My dad had passed away on the couch, and she didn't realize it. And so that was my first hint to take her to the doctor. If they act, you know, different, mm -hmm. take them to the doctor and find out. I had no idea what dementia was. I had no idea what Alzheimer's was. Yeah. And I learned the hard way. Through tears and painful emotions, Gail Bailey explains how Alzheimer's nearly ripped her family apart, watching her mother Carmen suffer for eight years with the disease before passing away. She was my best friend. She ran modeling schools here, and it's hard. So um, it, it killed me. Remember, over 15 million individuals are serving as their unpaid caregivers. WOWT 6 News' is Joe Chiodo played host for the event, highlighting, though, an often unseen and critical part of the disease, the toll it takes on caregivers. I left everything. I had a, was running a ballroom dance studio. I left my husband. I moved from Kansas City. I moved in with her for three years. I sold pop, water, popcorn, and cookies. I raised $200 that year and was very proud of what I had accomplished. And then there's this gross high school senior, Maddie Cunningham. She's personally raised over $22,000 to fight the disease and help find a cure. This all over 12 years. I really want to be alive when we find a cure for this disease. And I think that we have the power and the like, resources to do this. And I think that in my lifetime we will find a cure. And in a touching tribute to those who couldn't be here because of Alzheimer's, purple balloons released into the air. And a real special part of today's event are the flowers here. Some yellow, purple, orange, but maybe most significantly, blue, representing those among the crowd today suffering from the disease. United as one through the stories of many, lives impacted by Alzheimer's will not be forgotten. And the fight continues as the walk to end Alzheimer's for 2015 heads into the Midtown streets. With photographer Dustin Dales on Chase Moffat, WOWT 6 News. This year's Walk to End Alzheimer's event brought in over $108,000 in fundraising money.